Welcome to Project 613. Thank you for joining me on this amazing journey to become familiar with all of the mitzvot of the Torah. Just by way of introduction, we are going to be studying from Maimonides' Sefer HaMitzvot. That is the book of a list of all of the mitzvot compiled by Maimonides, Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, also known as the Rambam, who lived about 850 years ago. In, 19, in 1984, the Rebbe launched a groundbreaking initiative where one can study the entire Mishneh Torah, which is another work of Maimonides, his magnum opus, his book of law, in which he details all of the hundreds and thousands of laws of the entire Torah in great detail. And this is a 14 volume masterpiece of Maimonides. And by dividing the Mishneh Torah into a study cycle of three chapters a day, one finishes it within a year. Now, parallel to that study cycle, the Rebbe also suggested an easier track, the one that we are going to be following, which is to study the Sefer HaMitzvot, which is just the list of all of the mitzvot themselves, also compiled by Maimonides. And it's basically a brief synopsis of all of the 613 commandments of the Torah, the 248 positive mitzvot, and the 365 prohibitions of the Torah together with the source where we know them from, which verse in the Torah tells us about them. By joining this study cycle, one becomes familiar with all of the mitzvot of the Torah in just one year, and one also unites with thousands of Jews around the world who are also following this exact same study cycle. So let's get right into it. The first mitzvah is the mitzvah to know Hashem. And what that means is that it's not enough to believe in God. Rather, we have to know and understand that there is a primary cause which causes everything to come into existence. That is the mitzvah of Yediat Hashem, knowing about Hashem. This is something which is a logical conclusion. The mind can come to this conclusion and it's not good enough to just believe in it. One has to know, study, and understand this truth that all of existence is only here by way of a primary cause which causes it to be in existence. We know this mitzvah from the very first verse of the Ten Commandments that says, Anochi Hashem Elokecha, I am the Lord, your God. This verse is actually a positive mitzvah telling us that we should pursue the knowledge and understanding of Hashem. The second mitzvah is actually the second of the Ten Commandments, which is the prohibition to not even entertain the thought that there is another deity other than Hashem. We know this from the verse that says, Lo al panai. One should not have any other gods apart from me, says Hashem. The third mitzvah is the mitzvah of the unity of Hashem. And what that means is that Judaism believes in the one God, Hashem Echad, And here again, the mitzvah is that we should know and understand in our mind that there is only one being, that there is only one Hashem. And many people say, you know, if Hashem is so good, why, can't, why can there not be two or three? If we love God so much, there could be many of them. And of course, the answer is, as explained by Maimonides, that were there to be more than one, we wouldn't be infinite. And we believe in an infinite God. And therefore, Hashem is only one, there is only one primary cause, there is only one Hashem. This mitzvah, we know this from the verse, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Achad, Hero Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. This mitzvah is also referred to as Kabbalat Ol Malchut Shamaim, accepting upon ourselves the yoke of heaven. Thank you for joining, see you again tomorrow.